What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm just out for a little cruise. It's a little bit cloudy out and I'm pretty sure it's gonna start sprinkling. But I felt like going out for a little bit so I have no real plans just to go anywhere, just to ride around. The weather said it was supposed to be sunny at like 12 or 1. So we'll see how that goes. Can't really trust the weather. So right now I'm going to head over to the parking garage over in the collection and do a walk around the bike and show you guys the bike. Because I realize in all my videos, you only see it in this. You haven't actually seen it around the bike. So let me go find a different parking spot. Alright guys, here we are, and here she is, my 2002 Jigster 600, I named her Gwen. So my dad got me this bike for my birthday, and uh, he bought it from a friend who his cousin or nephew or someone ended up dropping it and never wanted to ride it again, but as you can tell, like, my tank's dented and I got a little dent on the frame. And it was cool because at the time I was looking for a bike and uh, my dad has this purple one that I want. I'll put a picture of it up for you guys. And I really wanted that one for my first bike. But he modified it a lot so it's faster than it should. So he was like, nah dude, we're going to get you one something stock. So this came up. So the only thing is I've done to her so far is uh, we cut off the original... Um, rear blinkers because it looked hideous so I got these really cool blinkers from from eBay and uh, it's like my tail lights are in them and it's my turn signals and at the same time in the front we got rid of the ugly ass turn signals and I got flush ones the problem with these ones were is they said they were stock and they would plug right in but they didn't so I had to crimp them and and put new connectors and stuff into it to make it fit. So I wanted to originally power coat the frame. But when I just had the bike torn apart and I was getting ready to go send it out. That's when all this COVID-19 stuff happened. So I ended up using the money to buy supplies. So I ended up just buying paint from work and just painting the, red fr the frame red. Because I wanted to make sure red was the color I wanted. Because I didn't want to go get it powder coated. And then not like the red. And now I'm stuck with the red bike. So in a few months I plan to take the bike all apart again. And I'm going to send my front tire, front rim, back rims, and the frames to go get powder coated candy red. And at the same time that's going on I want to send my tank out to get this blue candy red so it matches. And then I'm going to do all my fairings black. With like the fairing bolts. With some red. And then on the sprockets, I'm gonna change my sprockets around. So my, um, I'm gonna go down one in the front and up two in the back. And it should make my bike a little quicker off the line. I mean, my top end's gonna drop, but in town, you're really not going that fast, so.
That's cool. You know, there's not a stop sign there for you or anything. All right, guys, I guess I'm gonna go meet Joey at Coffee Bean. I'm gonna get there and change my battery. It's a nice bike. Alright guys, so over here on the straightaway, I'm going to do the first gear challenge. That's where I'm going to stay in first gear, and I'm going to see how fast I can go before I ship them to second. I'm thinking maybe like 50 miles per hour, but we'll find out right now. What's up guys? Joey let me test ride his bike. I do enjoy sitting like this, but I feel like the sport bike is a lot better. I feel like when I give up some throttle, there's nothing to hold me back down to the seat. He's just a cruise with the guys. Going to neutral.
I won't forget, I'm away